In this video, we're going to talk about how to trade in a bull market. Up, up, and away! All right, bull markets mean that the bull is happening, that the market is going up. Your bot can pretty much be stupid when it's in a bull market. There aren't a, the, your settings aren't as important since the market is going to consistently or continually go up. Now, you can't plan for these things completely because there's always going to be the availability of news to bring the market down. But one thing, and I'm trade. Um, what I did was I pulled up my BTC um, USD uh, ticker here in Coinergy. And you can see there's times where the market is red. These, and I'm on the weekly. And there's times when the market just does this tear, these runs for weeks on end. Like you know, these are multiple weeks, almost a month right there. Here's a month right here. Uh, there's three weeks into a month right here. Here's two weeks. Here's this long, extreme run right here. Here's a decent amount, you know, three weeks right here of a run. You know, four weeks right here of a run. So you have times where the market just does this tear up. These are bull runs where bulls, people who are positive about the market, are betting that the market's going to continually go up and people are buying into the market. Now, markets go down. As you can see, recently, the market doesn't go down as much as it goes up. And that's what brings the price of a ticker up. So for your settings, when you have this going on, let's just go ahead and go back to the 15 minute ticker. If you're trading on this, what can your bot do? Let's go ahead and set in some Bullinger bands on this. What can your bot do? Now, potentially your bot can make some serious mistakes, but on bull runs where this market is going like this, your bot has a potential momentum. If it's making this move, it might miss some of these moves. Like it might, if you zoom in a little bit closer to this, it might miss this move up. It might miss you know, these big moves up. So what you're going to want to do is maybe loosen up your settings here in your gun bot. Maybe you want to loosen up the Bollinger Band because the market is seemingly making this big tear up, right? So if the market is doing something like this, where it's just making these supreme moves up, you might be a little looser on your settings to be able to catch these rides, right? To be able to catch that momentum going up. But you always got to remember the market can come back down on you. you know? But you, you can see the trend has really been an upward swing. Like right, even right now as we're live with this, the trend is up. You know, this is $4,335.95, well, uh, it's now 79 cents for this market move that's been happening since here to here. So you can start setting trend lines to maybe try to gauge where the market might be headed towards, right? In doing this, you can set your trends up, but you also got to remember there's there's always a possibility for the market to come down on you. That the market can make a move and say, we're tired, let's go down. And then it could say, no, we're going to bounce off a particular level and go back up. These are the things that you need to contemplate if you think that it's a bull market all the time. I don't plan for bull markets. I plan for bear markets. I plan for the market to go down. I think Bitcoin will go up over time, but I'm also very wary to be prepared for when the market takes a turn down on me. Okay? 
So you need to start thinking about if you are in a bull run, okay, maybe you go into your settings and maybe you loosen them up a little bit on the Bollinger Band. Maybe you push it up to 30. Maybe you push it up to the 40. Maybe. You know, but always prepare for the market to come down on you. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. We're going to talk about bear markets.